everyone, welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Kate. I'm a third grade teacher in San Diego, California. And while this channel is primarily a teaching channel, I occasionally like to dip my toe into other ventures. And that leads me to this video. This video is going to be about my zero waste journey in 2020 and beyond. And so if that's something that you're interested in or that you would like to do with me, then just keep watching. Okay, you guys, so it is ending of January and I did mean to do this video earlier, but here we sit right now. All right, so if you guess that this is gonna be a series that is gonna continue on throughout 2020, then you know me. <laughs> you know YouTubers. This is something that I am committed to doing throughout 2020 and even into 2021 and beyond, especially if there's interest from you guys. Now, I would suggest that you guys hit that bell and subscribe to this channel because I post such a, the majority of my content is teaching related. So I feel like if you're here for just zero waste, um, the bell is going to really help you see when those videos pop up. So let's talk about zero waste and why I'm so passionate about it. So a little backstory, I am a teacher and teachers, we produce a ton of waste. We have a ton of kids. There's just a lot of waste that happens in teaching. And I, at my school in third grade, we teach an environment unit. And many, many years ago, one of my teaching partners and I were really into the idea of helping this school limit our um, waste production. And I, correct me if I'm wrong, I believe there is some sort of a law that they're putting into effect that schools need to be more responsible about uh, the amount of waste they're putting out. So we have what's called zero waste lunch. And so the kids have different stations where they can um, put items that might go into compost, items that are you know, technically trash, things that can be recycled and so on. And we take the green bin and we put it into our compost. We have compost all around school and we have gardens. So we're definitely, definitely paying attention to the amount of waste. And that is what kind of led me to this video. I have been thinking about how much waste, I mean, I actually would love to do like a PSA to expo. I have some good ideas for them. Think about all of those expo markers that when we are done with them, where do they go? And they are not gonna break apart, right? Like they are not gonna decompose. So um, that is something that is constantly on my mind and why in my own personal life, I'm going to try to limit my waste. I'm gonna try to become zero waste if possible and really reduce my carbon footprint. Okay, so the very first step that I am taking in my zero waste journey is to avoid the design for the dump trap. Okay, so let's talk about this. We're gonna have a scenario. We're gonna go to Target. We don't need anything. We're just looking, right? Right? We're just looking. Okay, so we go to Target. We're just looking, and an hour and a half later, I walk out with 14 Target bags and a red card. What? <laughs> um, like, huh? What? Uh -huh. And that's because our society is impulsive and I am just as guilty, you guys. We live in a very impulsive society and the newest and the brightest and the flashiest, we just feel we need those things, right? Oh, I just wanna treat myself, okay? So oftentimes those things that we buy without properly like really researching if we need them, those impulse buys, are things that are going to most likely just end up in the landfill. So for me, I'm trying very, very hard to get rid of that mindset of like, ah, if it breaks, I'll just buy another one. Well, guess what? It's designed to break. <laughs> that's, that's what they do nowadays. Companies, I see you, right? I actually have a radio alarm clock, the old school radio alarm clock that I have had for, since I was in junior high. So like they're almost 30 years ago. And you know what? <laughs> it still works. And I really, that is a perfect example of something that was not designed for the dump, right? 
It was not designed to break. It was designed to last. And I really, truly hope that more manufacturer manufacturers, oh my God, I can't say that word, really start to kind of embrace that again. And you know what? I, I'm very happy with that alarm clock. So for me, the first goal is to really avoid that trap and to really research and find things that I, I need versus like just buying it because it's there, right? Resist the temptation, you guys. Okay, so the second thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about, the second thing that I wanna do is just to be smarter about what I'm using, okay? So in January and beyond, I'm going to share with you um, a couple of different things that I'm currently using to kind of reduce the amount of waste that I'm making. So the first one that I want to show you is this. Now I, the, the first one is dirty. I'm just going to straight up tell you that because I actually use it and I know I'm supposed to clean it, but you know, it's, <laughs> it, it's dirty. It is what it is. Okay. So this is a terry cloth and it, it, I got it at Trader Joe's right there. Let me show you the clean one, okay? So here it is. Let me just fold it in half because that's easier. This is what it looks like. And you guys, it's great. They came, they did come in a plastic um, package, but it was quite small and um, this is going to replace paper towels for me, which is amazing. So you can wash them, they last, and you guys are super soft. I think the two of them together might have cost, they were either $3.99 or $9.99. I actually don't remember right now, but I use these all the time. And what's great is you can throw them in the wash and then you just like can dry them and then they're good to go. Super absorbent. You really, if you have this, you wouldn't need paper towels really. I mean, I could see myself needing paper towels for a few things, you know, like if I'm cleaning out my cast iron, like I'm not going to want to do that with this because then, yeah, it'd be bad. But uh, for the majority, if I'm just like wiping up a spill or I just need to like dry my hands real quick and I don't have a towel nearby, this is going to replace paper towel rolls or as my girl Diane Reevely says, the kitchen roll. That's what all the British people say. So that is one of the things that I'm going to be using to kind of help reduce my waste. The other one is kind of, and it is also dirty, I know, it is well used. Um, this is here, it's a Swedish washcloth, and they're not expensive, you guys. You can get them for, I wanna say maybe like a two, you usually get like two in a pack, and I think they're like $6 or something, depending on where you go, and they last forever. So this is an option, I do use it. It also is extremely absorbent and it's great for like washing dishes. Or <laughs> if you have a mother who knits or you knit, you know, you can have a washcloth like this. So my mom makes these and I'll use this if I'm cleaning out like um, something that's not going to stain it or get food stuck in it because, um, yeah, I don't really think that's like super sanitary. So I usually use this to like, uh, like, um, wash like water glasses and things like that. So the first three things that I'm showing you are all very similar, right? Like instead of paper towels, I now have these terry cloth. And then instead of, uh, like, um, what are those ones that everybody uses? It's like you fill up the tube with soap and then it's got like a sponge on the top. Like think about that, you guys. If you're using that, right, then you have that plastic when it breaks. Like my, I used to use them and mine broke and then where did it go? It's in the dump somewhere living its best life, right? So I really like this option for doing dishes. Yes, if this is dirty, I am aware. <laughs> um, it's got actually, you know what it has on it? It has like hatch chili powder on it because I, I was cleaning the top of my um, Instapot. So anyway, I would highly recommend those. Now, another thing that I am using in January is these. What are these, you might ask? Balls, you're right. These are wool balls. 
and I got them a really long time ago. And these replace dryer sheets. Yep, they replace dryer sheets. So basically, you know, you I think my sister said you can like find this on Pinterest or something like that. And um, yeah, like you can get them on Pinterest and or like a DIY to make your own. But honestly, I just bought them and they are, yeah, they're wool balls and you stick them into the dryer and it does a couple things. It, it replaces the need for a dryer sheet and it helps your clothes dry faster because these are in there bouncing around and they keep the clothes. You know, when you, when you like use a dryer sheet or something like that, or you just, you don't like, you just put your clothes in there and then like you have a clump of clothes in your laundry and then they're like wet and you have to do the like dryer again, another cycle. You can stick these in there and they um, do help everything dry a lot quicker. The more you put in there, like the better it's gonna work, but they are loud. You'll hear them like bang, 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 bang on the thing. So if that stresses you out, this is like not for you but it will help with the dry time. And I think that that's really great because that cuts down on the electricity. Now, if you're like my parents and you have solar, <laughs> I guess it doesn't matter, but I actually got mine from this company here, Rocky Mountain Oils. It is where I do buy, I do buy essential oils. I do not, I am not interested in joining any oily clubs or MLMs or anything like that. <clears throat> more power to you if you do it. It's not my thing. So don't even ask. I am not interested. However, <laughs> it, um, you know, if you want to use this, I, I think, yeah, I think there's like oily points for re referring someone, but it's not like I get like, like I don't get commission off you buying anything. So anyway, there is that I do use them. Okay, the next thing I wanna to talk to you is about skincare. I am a skincare junkie, you guys. I have so many products, it's kind of disgusting actually. Like, it's pretty bad how much I have. If you are going in with the mindset of like, that stuff is going into the landfill, right? Like it's, I get it, it's bad, I get it. That is probably my biggest worry on why I could never be fully zero waste. I don't think I'm the only one that suffers from like product itis, right? So I was thinking about it and I'm like, how can I reduce the amount of trash that I'm producing from like skincare and like shampoos and all of that stuff. And um, enter this guy right here. This guy. Is that upside down? I can't tell. <laughs> it is. Do this guy right here. So you might be thinking to yourself, now wait a minute, Kate, that's, that's a 10. What are you doing with that? So I don't know if you can hear it. Um, Inside here is my shampoo. So I'm gonna open it and show you. Now, one of the things that I wanna go into further discussion on, if I remember next month, is just about minimizing the amount of products I have um, and using up before I buy new. And remind, I, I'm gonna do my best to remember that for next month. So here it is, that's my shampoo in there. So it just, you can just tap it out. The only reason I bought the tin, okay, is because I just really didn't want this like for sanitary reasons. And you might be thinking, hey, it's unsanitary. I can clean this out all the time. But to have my shampoo just like sitting, I feel like, you know, when you use this, it gets really bubbly and I feel like it would just leave like a huge mess. Um, yeah, so that that's why I bought the tin. Now you might be thinking, okay, do they like what kind do they have? This one that I got here is actually it's the Honey Godiva one. I I believe that's what it's called. It's uh, Honey. I, I washed my hair or something like that. Now they have a massive range, you guys, and um, you know, I just I I just want to use what I have before I buy more. Again, I'll talk about that more next month. So. I would warn you though that um, don't buy the conditioners. I've heard they're not good. <laughs> but the shampoo bars are legit. And you guys, what's so great when you go into Lush and you buy this, you can get a little paper bag that it can go in or like I'll probably just bring like my own tin and just like, yeah, 
say, you know, put it in my tin so I'm not even using a paper bag. Like, I'll clean out my tin, I'll buy the bar, I'll walk up there, I'll pay for it, and then I'll put it in the tin itself. So I figure that's like also gonna be a useful way to use this. So, um, and it prevents me from overbuying. <laughs> okay, so that was kind of there. And I have a couple more little things I'm gonna talk to you about as far as like products go next month. All right. We're in the home stretch of this video. I think, um, you know, each month it'll be a little bit more like, uh, <laughs> it'll be a little more like, I'll have like my rhythm. Okay, so the next thing I want to talk about are these little baggies here and this baggie here. So um, these bags, this is my backpack, okay? And I have purposed this backpack into my store backpack. Now you might be thinking, what does that mean? This backpack is really, you know, it's not, it's not the biggest backpack in the world. Wait, can you even see that? Okay. It's like, it's not the biggest backpack in the world, but it's a decent size. So here's what I do. You guys, I live within a mile-ish from many, many stores. I live at like a mile from target. I live a mile from the grocery store, like the expensive grocery store but I live about a mile and a half from like a Vons, right? A Safeway Vons. I live really close to like a Starbucks. I live close to a CVS and a Walgreens. I live close to restaurants and bars and um, there's like a concert place where you, or, or like a music venue place that you can go. And so I live really close. I live close to like yoga studios and on and on. And so I, since I was a little like, young, like in my teens, I used to always walk to the store and then just buy what I need and come back. Novel, right? <laughs> so this goes back to that whole thing I was talking about when we went to Target and spent, you know, bought 14 bags and walked out with the Target Red card, right? So what's great about having this backpack is number one, I walk to the grocery store. So I'm getting my exercise in. I am not driving my car which means I'm really helping to reduce my carbon footprint. And basically I figure out what recipe it is that I'm gonna wanna cook and then yeah, I only buy what I need for that recipe and then maybe some like essentials that I need, like maybe I'm out of hummus or maybe I need like some apples or whatever it may be. And basically I have to be very mindful that this backpack does not fit a ton of stuff. So, so yeah, like, because I have to walk home a mile with this on my back. So I always put my groceries, this is my grocery bag. This is what I take. Instead of, you know, buying plastic, you know, when you have to pay. I don't know about in your town, but in my town they passed a bill saying that plastics were banned. Come on, we all know that that's a bunch of BS. Plastics are not banned, they just cost you money now. <laughs> So, uh, you know, that always has kind of rubbed me the wrong way. Plastics are not banned. They are just, at least in my neighborhoods where they say it's banned. Now they just charge you, right? So this way I am not using single use. I have had this backpack for many, many a year and um, like a couple years now and it's in great condition. Like I have no intent to buy another backpack. This is my grocery store or my Target or my Starbucks or my CVS backpack. It is what I use, or if I'm going to work out, like I would put my workout uh, clothes in here and whatever I need, like my yoga mat, well, that probably wouldn't fit very well, but you know what I mean. Okay, and the final thing that I wanna talk about for this month are these little bags. So I actually got these for free. I have them in like a variety of sizes, and what I love about this is if you go to the grocery store, you have to, um, yeah, you have to like, if you want produce, most of us put it into a plastic bag and then we bring it home and what happens? We just throw that bag away, right? So I really like these um, and yeah, then I can just put my produce in that and they just, they um, close up like this and then yeah, and you can wash them in everything. So, oh, we did it. I, you guys have so many thoughts about zero waste and really working towards becoming zero waste. I'm really, really excited for it. I don't, I don't know if you caught that throughout this video. 
And they're gonna be things that I touched upon here that I'm gonna expand upon next month. I'm gonna tell you some new ideas that I've come up with to implement into uh, this zero waste lifestyle. So I think that is where I'm gonna leave you guys. I hope that this was informative. I hope that this got you like charged up and excited that you wanna do it with me. Come on, do it with me. I don't wanna do it alone. So um, yeah, let's do it. And I will see you guys if you hear from my channel, I'll see you sooner. But if you're here for zero waste, I will see you in probably beginning of February and then probably at the first of each month. So anyway, you guys, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I will see you guys soon.